day good day when we have thought about remote camping in the past we've thought about sundown sandy cape at fraser island even mentioned that in a previous video uh, we did also go out to mount moffat on the western side of carnarvon gorge but the new remote camping spot to top the list is this one right here have a look at this We're about 700, maybe 800 k's west of Brisbane. Uh, we've just spent a few days in Lightning Ridge and this is Kalgoa Floodplain National Park. And it's, uh, as I said, very remote. Uh, it's a bit of a dirt, dirt road getting in here. It's not hasn't been graded yet, but they're about to grade it because we saw the mounds of uh, dirt and rock on the side ready to cover the track with. Um, ended up having to lock the hubs in because it's uh, had a little bit of moisture out here and the ground's quite soft and it was Pretty hard to find a camp spot. Um, we camped up at Red Bank Hut, and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's very soft ground and um, very muddy at the moment. But yeah, I managed to find some dry stuff up on a higher part, and um, yeah, so we've just set just set up and gone for a walk, had a look around the immediate vicinity, and um, yeah, we're going to get out here in the next couple of days and explore what it has. It's made up of apparently three old cattle stations. Um, the last one was abandoned in 1996 and yeah there's a lot of uh, old bits of stuff lying around here old bottles and there's a hut just up here as I said Red Bank Hut where we're camping and it's got some old bottles back from the 1960s and 50s out the back and you can uh, actually un unlock the front door and go in and have a look at what's uh, things that's still on the shelf and old stove and that so we'll go back in there tomorrow and film that but um, anyway we're gonna get some fire going tuck into a couple of bevies and um, get some dinner on. Yo! Absolutely cracking afternoon. A few rumbies out in the middle of nowhere. No one else here. Aussie bush is turning it on. I'll go a floodplain, babe. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon? Initial thoughts? Remote. <laughs> Very remote. <laughs> we are in the middle of nowhere, really. Yeah. Oh well. Well worth a visit, though. Yeah, yeah. it's good, eh? The sunset was amazing. The night sky with no light pollution was sensational. Yeah. There's actually water here, which is a bit of a treat. Yeah, usually this place is pretty dry. But anyway, yeah, day two. Just stopped by the cattle yards. There's bits of stuff all everywhere inside of here. Mainly fencing wire, you gotta watch where you're treading, especially in thongs. It's like old bull horns and pig horns and you know, there's a few dead animals everywhere. But uh, absolutely massive yard. And um, yeah, it would have been quite, uh, quite the day's work back in the day. Loading them all up onto the truck. Looks like it could fit a few head of cattle in here. Most of it's kind of fallen down. But uh, it was definitely made pretty well. All from like timber around near here. Same timber as in all the trees around the place. But uh, yeah, it's pretty sturdy. And uh, yeah, it gives you a bit of an insight on what it would have been like back in the day. From bustling cattle stations. I wonder if all three of them shared this same 
same yard as I said it's quite big so it's um yeah pretty cool it's still here there's a couple little round yards over there but um yeah well worth it coming all the way out here just gives you a little bit of a uh, look back on actual life back in the day out on these uh, stations and um, yeah it's still standing yeah obviously in ruin but <laughs> you know they've done a pretty good job to withstand the test of time and this place is very wet at the moment got the hubs locked in to just go on the normal dirt roads but um, but anyway, it's still pretty easy to get around. But anyway, that's the cattle yards. Stop by and have a look if you're ever out here. It's very interesting. We're just trying to get to the Hillsview homestead to have a look around and um, as I said this place is pretty wet and uh, we've got ourselves in a bit of a doozy. Luxy is down. So going to get the winch on it and pull ourselves out. Well, we're hoping we found a tree to winch off. We're just getting the recovery gear, getting the damper and the tree the tree brace and um, hopefully we can winch ourselves out of this. And the winch is working. Here we go again. Check out the feet. All to see a homestead. It's a bench of butt. Second time today on the winch. How good's a king's winch? I'm as bogged as the car. 